my name is Constant van Oranje. I work for the European Commission. And uh, as a, someone involved in policy, I tend to look at concerns more than optimism. So I'm sorry to have to, uh, um, again, um, ju um, um, be more on the side of, of concern here. Um, my main concern here is the failing uh, global governance. What we're seeing in the world now is uh, with the Shia and, uh, and Sunni conflict, is something that is regional turn, uh, turn global very fast. We've seen regional rifts and nationalism in Russia and the Ukraine. We've seen China and Japan. We're seeing the rise also of populism and fundamentalism in, in parts that used to be very stable like Europe, but also South America, even Northern America, challenge, challenging old governance models. We also see the emergence of non-state actors um, that are not accounted for in our, govern in our governance models. So when we were very close to the end of history and everything seemed to go very nicely towards a violentless uh, progress, um, we now see that we're sucked back into history big time. Um, our rational approaches, we've seen it today, uh, progress has been incredible, health has been improving, we've seen economic, um, uh, economic progress all across the world, and we've seen, uh, but at the same time, we see that these systems are tested. Our, we was already said by a former speaker, the resilience of our democracy seems to be um, debated. Um, is technology going to solve all this? Is technology going to provide a contribution? Probably yes, a big contribution, but we also see that the world is turning away from rationalism, and many of these solutions are rational. They also often have a Western basis, and that's also challenged, and we need to look at that. So do we see new models of, of uh, governance emerging? Well, in ICANN and in uh, the internet governance, we see attempts to deal with that. We t attempt to make it much more inclusive, but we're not there yet. We don't have the models available. So I'd be very interesting to hear from you in this room to experiment with ways to engage non-Western interests, um, other stakeholders and states, but in solving global issues.